Hey, Ringo. Ooh, he came so close to me. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 7.30 a.m. and I am really not happy right now. So I just got uh, notified by a tree company, which is outside. You could see them parked on my front lawn. They're going to be removing three large trees that are between my house and my neighbor's house. Now, I like these trees. I like having these trees here, especially there's a one, there's one giant white cedar, which is a really nice tree. They're going to be taking down all the trees and they needed permission to park on my lawn, so I gave them permission, but I also told them they better not mess up my greenhouse. If there's any damage to my greenhouse, then they're liable for it. Um, and I told them, you know, they better be careful taking these trees down. I'm not happy about this, so I also found out that um, the person that will be moving into the house next door is like a family member of the people that used to live there, and she's actually downsizing. I think she's an older woman, and she sold the house that she was living in and she's downsizing to this house because it's a smaller house. They said she wanted the trees down because they're too close to the house and they have a new roof and I don't know, I'm just not happy about this at all. I mean, because it's gonna be a major, major change. I really like those trees. I feel bad for all the squirrels and the animals that have homes in them. So Boo's a bit freaked out because of the chainsaws right now. Look at this, so five minutes ago I looked outside and there was a tree next to my house. And right now, look at that, it's on the back of a truck down the block. That's how big that tree was. Do you see how big the tree was? It was a very big old white cedar. It's so sad that they took it down. Today is fish day for the cats, so they're having some of the Earthborn Holistic Harbor Harvest. And I don't know where Splash is. He's probably hiding because of all the chainsaw noise. So I'm going to go look for him. And I've not uh, done anything with the foster room, the kitten room today. So I want to get these cats fed first because they are, you know, all nerved up because of all the noise. So hopefully no one's going to vomit. Hopefully they'll just remain calm. I was going to shut the door and just leave them down here, but I don't know where Splash is. So I found Splash. He's under the bed. I just gave him some food. Good morning, everybody. It is 8.20 a.m. Good morning, Ziggy. Good morning, Richard. Good morning, Sammy. Good morning, Goldie. Good morning, Nancy. Look what they did here, look. They pulled this entire cat bed unit out of the uh, the shelf I don't even know what you call this this is this would be like the cubby bed unit they pulled it all out I wonder why they did that so last night I gave them catnip um, they still haven't figured out this crunchy board um, so there's catnip on it along with crunchies and I put some catnip like on the rug on the floor um, on the towel on the day sofa and I don't know if they're immune to catnip because like only, I think only one of the torties really reacted to it. The other ones really didn't even care about it. So I'm wondering if they're immune to catnip. Hey guys. I mean, they do like the catnip toys, but I think they just like toys with, you know, in general. Sammy has been getting a lot of pets right now. They're probably like, what is going on? I'm just, I'm very happy they're not outside while these trees are being taken down. Even though this, this tree company is working very efficiently. I was watching and so they have a crane outside and what they do is um, first they send guys up into the tree to take down like all the lower branches and then they just um, attach the crane to the top of the tree and then they cut off like the top half of the tree and the crane just lifts it up and out. So it's kind of wild. Look at this. <laughs> what are you guys doing? They're totally shredding the inside of this. Can you see how much more shredded it is? 
So maybe they just want a cardboard box. Maybe what I should do, which, uh, which is probably a lot cheaper, I should measure these, um, like these squares, and I could just order cardboard boxes that fit the squares. The cats might actually like those better. Um, and they'd be cheaper probably than these. I think these are almost $10 each. Um, you know, usually you get a box for a few dollars, so something to think about. And everyone else is hiding because of the noise. So I'm going to clean up the room and we'll get everyone started on their day. And here's the air purifier. It's been running on level, what level? So I think, I think this was on level one all night. It might have been on level two all night. I don't know exactly. I can't remember what I put it on. I know I shut it down to level one when I was filming videos yesterday. I might have left it on level one. Right now it's on level two. I mean, it smells good in here. It doesn't smell like a litter box or anything, so maybe it's doing its job. So I just turned the air purifier off. I want to actually open it up and take a look at the filter, see what the filter is looking like. I know it's only been running for like one night. I'm just curious to see um, if I do notice discoloration or debris on the filter. So the way that this works is it pulls air in through the bottom, through the filter, and then the air comes out the top. And for um, a small unit like this, it's actually doing a good job creating air circulation in this room. Even though I have the window open, maybe like a third of an inch, um, the window's really not helping to create air circulation because there's no crossed ventilation or anything. Uh, but this is actually creating a good amount of air circulation in here, so that's good. So here's the filter, and after just one night, like you can see, do you see like all these dots on it? That's dust. And like, can you see around here? I see the dark spots around the top of the edge. Watch this. That's dust. This is litter dust. See that? Do you see there's like dark spots, but I can move them with my finger? Yeah, that's litter dust. All of these spots on here, that's all litter dust. So I am really happy that I got this. And it's definitely doing its job after just one night. I mean, it's definitely making a difference. It's pulling all of that litter dust out of the air. So that is really good. Now they say um, to change these filters uh, every few months. So I have to look, I have to look into that. Um, I don't know if some people are saying that they're just rinsing them out. Other people are saying that, you know, you definitely want to replace the filter, but I'm just happy it's doing its job right now. So that is good. Hopefully this is money well spent. Do you see what's in the middle of the road right now? So I'm outside taking my garbage cans in and look what's in the middle of the road. That was in one of the garbage cans because I found that in the garage. I was using it for one of the outside cats. I have no idea which one. And I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna toss it because you know, it's been in the garage. It's not clean or anything. Yep, and there it is in the middle of the road. So you know what? I'm gonna take this as a sign and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this outside for any visiting cats. I'll just put some dry cat food in it and I'll put it outside. All of the trees are gone and I thought I wasn't gonna like it but it actually feels really good because now I'm getting so much more sun. Those trees used to block so much sun and now I'm getting so much more sun. I was just downstairs washing out the water bowl for the kittens and my entire house started shaking like my entire basement was vibrating and I was like what is going on outside so I came upstairs and as I was coming up the steps I was like they're probably grinding out the stumps and sure enough they ground out the stump for the really large uh, cedar and they're in the process of grinding out the stump for the cherry and they better not be uh, messing up the side of my house because yeah it looks crazy so that's the stump they're in the middle of grinding. You can see it's right on the property line. I don't even know if it's their tree. For all I know, it could be my tree. I have no idea whose tree it is. Then they put up like that piece of wood. But it's very close to see where the water bowl is that I keep for the outside cats. It's really close to that. 
And it's kind of ironic because it was like yesterday or the day before that I was editing the video where I was showing the vines hanging in the trees and how the vine was, you know, just dangling and I didn't want it to fall on anybody. And now the trees are gone. Today the trees are gone. So this is how powerful, you know, thoughts are. Be careful what you say, be careful what you wish for because two months later, there it is. I wanted to remove those vines and now they're gone. All right, so for breakfast today, their cats are having some canned fish. So they're having Earthborn Holistic Monterey Medley along with Trader Joe's Ocean Whitefish Salmon and Rice Dinner. That's been discontinued, but I still have some cans. And crunchies on top. Is everyone here? Who's here? I see five, six. Who's missing? One of the torties. Ziggy's missing. Where's Ziggy? Where's Ziggy at? You guys eating? Ready to eat? Okay, who's giving me headbutts? Who's headbutting me? Give me headbutts. Give me headbutts. Come on, girls. Ooh, someone. Ooh, that was Richard. Richard. Richard rubbed up against my legs. Who else is going to rub? Richard's rubbing against my legs. Who else? Who's rubbing? Goldie came close. Give me a pet. Okay, who's giving me a pet? Give me a pet. Richard gives me pets. Richard gives me pets. Sammy gives me pets. Who's giving me a pet? Give me a pet. Come on. You want to eat? You got to get a pet. Here. Splash lets me pet him before he eats. Okay? Okay. Who wants to eat? You got to give me a pet. Give me a pet. Come on. Pets before eating. Someone other than these two has to give me a pet. Who's giving me a pet? All right, there. Here. there's your food. Eat the food. Nancy's letting me pet her right now. Nancy. <laughs> Nancy just let me pet her a lot. I don't know if the camera picked it up. I got to pet Nancy really good, so maybe she'll be used to it the next time. Maybe she'll like pets now. She seemed to enjoy it. We have to remember, feral cats don't know what a pet is. Like, they've never been touched by a human before. So being touched by a human is a brand new sensation. Someone, one of the torties just went under the day sofa. I'm going to... I'll leave the room so they could eat. Um, it was Ziggy. Maybe she doesn't like fish. No, but she should like fish. Fish is what got her in the trap. Um, okay, I'm, I'll leave so she can eat. It's 12.20 p.m. and this is my boo. And he has made this pillow his cat bed. He's been laying on this for several days now. And what he does is he likes to lay on it while I'm working on videos. So I've been sitting here and working on videos. Um, I have my, my computers on the coffee table and I sit here and then Boo's been laying on this pillow so he can be next to me while I'm working. And yeah, he loves, 
He loves this pillow. It has become his cat bed. It's 4.30 p.m. Hello. And I just came in the room to put a light on for the cats because it's raining really hard right now. It's been a rainy afternoon and I've spent pretty much all afternoon editing a video. For some reason it took so long, um, maybe just because I kept getting interrupted today. And of course my entire morning was unexpectedly taken up with uh, the trees coming down. So. I'm just trying to recover as much of today as I can. There's Sammy up there. Let me put a light on. I have this little LED light. It's powered by USB, so I have it hooked up to one of the solar power generators, and I could change the color of it. Like, it's one of those lights you could go through different colors. I keep it on this one because it's most similar to a warm incandescent light, and it gives off just enough light to make the room cozy. So there's Sammy. Now I want to tell you what happened with Sammy. So I came in the room a couple hours ago and all the cats were sleeping under the day sofa except for Sammy. And she was up, she was looking out the window, so I opened the window just a tiny bit for her. And then um, I was doing something in this room. I, oh, I was picking up some plates off the floor from breakfast. And she came up to me and she's like rubbing all up against me, so I was giving her pets and guess what? Guess what I was able to do? I was able to pick her up. I picked her up the same way I used to pick up Ditto, where I used to kind of put both of my arms, like one arm on each side of her, and I would pick her up, and I picked him up like a vice. It was like a vice grip. That's what I used on her. And I put her in my lap, and then she jumped off. But at least I was able to pick her up. So that was good. She didn't even fight it. Right, Sammy? Right, Sammy? And she was talking a lot today. She's been pretty quiet lately, but today she was talking up a storm. Butt in the air. Elevator butt. Elevator butt. And there's little Richard. And Sammy's rubbing up against my legs right now. So today was not a fun day for the cats. Um, they're all still kind of stressed out. I mean, it was just... Imagine waking up to your doorbell ringing and having a tree company there being like, Okay, yeah, we're, we're taking down your trees today with no advance notice at all. That's basically what happened. I mean, those are the three biggest trees, um, not actually in my yard, but pretty much just right on the property line. So yeah, it's a big transition and um, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in the next few days um, because it's definitely going to impact that entire side of my house. The environment on that entire side of the house is gonna be completely changed. So, um, we'll see what happens. Even last summer when I had the trees trimmed, like I had two out of those three trees trimmed, then I had other trees trimmed, and just by trimming the trees, it made a huge difference with the amount of sun that I got on the patio and with the amount of sun that I got on the side of my house and like all kinds of things started growing. I never had a lot of things growing along the side of that house, but now that the sun was hitting it, all of a sudden like all kinds of like weeds and plants started growing. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with these trees gone and it's not like they're gonna grow back, they're gone. Unless she plants some kind of new trees. I don't know what her plans are gonna be as far as landscaping the yard so we'll see what happens maybe she'll put in some privacy hedges like i don't know i have no idea sammy you see the rain you see the rain outside sammy you see the rain outside yeah you see it huh you don't like it you remember when you're outside in the rain sammy you remember when you were outside in the rain yeah she says she does okay Okay, you're going to hang out up there? It's not time to eat yet. You had a late breakfast. Today's fish day, so you guys are going to get some kind of fish for dinner, okay? It is 6.30 p.m., and the cats are having some canned food. So on the bottom of the platter, they're having some of the Trader Joe's uh, ocean whitefish salmon and rice dinner. And then on top of that, they're having some deckhand tuna. I'm just using up cans of food that I have. And then there's some crunchies on top, so... Are you guys ready for dinner? You want some dinner? Who's hungry? Are you guys hungry? 
So it was a perfect day to just sleep. I would have liked to take naps all day. It would have been a perfect day for that. There's Sammy. Nancy. Goldie. Richard. Ziggy. Eva. And Ringo. Hey Ringo, I remember when you used to hide. You used to hide under the day sofa every time I came in the room. And now you're getting brave. Look at this. Hey Ringo. Ooh, he came so close to me. So here's a platter of food with Ringo, Richard, and Ziggy. And here's a platter of food with Goldie, Nancy, and Eva. And there's Sammy. Sammy, why are you not eating? You're not hungry, Sammy? Sometimes she likes to wait until everyone else eats. As I was editing the video today, um, that was from almost two months ago, it was very noticeable to me how much Ringo has grown uh, since that video. He's gotten a lot bigger. I mean, all the cats have gotten a lot bigger, but him especially. And to me, it kind of looks like Ziggy and Goldie are continuing to grow also. I mean, I think all the cats are continuing to grow, although Sammy's still very small. Eva's still very small. But to me, they look like they're getting bigger. So, if you're watching this video and you've been following the journey of these cats, go back and watch some videos from when they were living outside and look at their faces and look at the expressions on their faces when they were living outside and compare those expressions to the faces that you see on these inside videos the cats look so much happier now that's one thing that I've noticed I never see them with a face that looks like they're uncomfortable or that they're in pain um, or that they're not happy. But if you go look at the videos when they're outside, they didn't always have the happiest of expressions on their faces. So the air purifier has been on level two all day. The air feels cleaner, like it's not as dusty as it was. I'm still using the dusty litter from the supermarket. I think I have one or two more containers of it and then I'm done with that. Um, the other thing that I noticed today is that there's absolutely no cat litter smell in this room. So sometimes, you know, when a cat uses the litter, it can smell for a while after they use it, especially if they take a poop. and I've been in this room multiple times today and there's been absolutely no cat litter smell at all. So that's another uh, plus for using this air purifier. So, so far I'm really happy that I got it. So I didn't realize that Ringo's on the cleanup crew. Ringo and Richard, notice how Ringo has his paw on the platter to keep it still. And then he's literally licking it clean. Ziggy might be helping him. I think she's eating up the crunchies though, but he's been licking that platter. There's not going to be any food left for Sammy, but maybe she's not hungry. It's 10.45 p.m. I just came in the room to play with the cats and look at what's floating in the water. It's a fish. Nancy, let's show everyone how nice I could pet you. Yeah, let's show everyone I could pet you nice now. Come here. But you let me pet you before. Oh, Sammy says I could pet her. Okay, pet you, Sammy. Pet Sammy. Come on, Nancy, come here. Hey, Nancy. Come on over here. Come here. Come on, get some pets. Come on, Nancy, get pets. How you doing, Sammy? How you doing, Sammy? You want to play? 
Hey, be nice. Be gentle. 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 We're going to play. Not with my hand, but we're going to play. Okay. I don't know why she's a little bit worked up right now. Why are you worked up right now? Oh, because of the fish? Yeah? Yeah? Hey, don't eat that. Don't eat that. Hey, don't eat that. It's almost 11 p.m. I've been having some playtime with the cats. They're all enjoying themselves. Look at little Richard. He's all stretched out. All Sammy wants to do is lick that feather toy. She's just been licking it and licking it and licking it. So Richard is letting me brush him with this grooming brush. He even let me brush his tummy. He let me brush his tummy. Now he's getting a little excited. Want me to brush your head like here? Brush the top of your head. Okay. Nice. So thankfully, it's not shedding season right now. I mean, the cats are shedding a little bit, but nowhere near as much as they would if it was springtime right now. Anybody want to be brushed? Anybody else want to be brushed? Sammy, you want to be brushed? Sammy, want me to brush you up here? Now you want to play with the balls? Okay. Right now they have three electronic toys on. This one, this one, and then this one. So this one, this one here will stop in like 15 minutes. This one stops in 10 minutes. And then this one just goes forever. I actually put another toy inside of it. Um, like that pink ball. And there's a little bit of feather left on the bottom, which is what they're going after now. So as you can see, all the cats are there. I also hung up this wand toy. Um, this is the one that comes on the clamp. Hopefully it'll stay like that for a little while. I'm going to take out the tripod and I'm gonna shut the big light off. And then the cats can enjoy their toys for a while. And right before I go to bed, I'll probably shut that one off. Otherwise, it'll be on all night. So... They'll have a little bit of playtime now. Sammy really likes these electronic toys and stuff. She's really good with them. So, who are we missing right now? Oh, the torties. I think the torties are under the day sofa. All right, I will let them play and I'll be back later. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you. Bye.